Um, secondly, on Vivian Wilson, Vivian Wilson's family chose themselves to leave the state of New Jersey. Um, the fact is that we signed into law the ability for children to be able to get medical marijuana under very strict guidelines, because it's a medical program, not a recreational program. And, you know, the folks who want all kinds of edibles available all the time for kids should go to Colorado. Because right now the Colorado school system says that the biggest crisis in the K-12 school system is marijuana in the schools. The kids are bringing in brownies and gummy bears, edibles, and coming in and getting high during the day in school. And so, you know, I'm sorry, I'm an anti-marijuana guy. You're a pro-marijuana guy, that's fine. I'll enforce the federal law no, when no, I'm no, I, I didn't say if I was or wasn't, well, I just asked a question. Yeah, no, I can tell by the roll of the eyes. We know what the roll of the eyes means in New Jersey, buddy. Oh, really? Uh, so, really more so the fact is, the fact is that I believe in enforcing the law. Now, if people want to change the federal law on marijuana, let them go to Congress and change the law. And if they get a president to sign it, fine. My job is to enforce the law. And it's not for a president to pick and choose which laws he wants to enforce and which ones he doesn't. This president doesn't want to enforce the immigration law, so we have sanctuary cities all over the country not enforcing the immigration law because he doesn't agree with it. The uh, president doesn't agree with the marijuana law, so he lets Colorado and Washington State pass recreational marijuana and violate the federal law. You know, I listen to the oath pretty carefully. Not only the oath the president takes, but the oath I took as governor of New Jersey. It's not to enforce the laws that I like or to enforce the laws that I agree with. Is to enforce the laws of the state of New Jersey and to enforce the laws of the United States of America. And so you all can have, anyone can have different opinions on this stuff. You're welcome to your opinion, but you're not welcome to your own law. And one of the reasons that people are so disturbed at what's going on in this country right now is there's lawlessness. This president signs executive orders which violate the Constitution and violate federal law. This president enforces the laws he likes. He changes laws like Obamacare. Just changes them in mid-law. Well, I'm not going to do this now. I know I'm supposed to do this by this date, but I'm going to push it off a few years until after I leave office. So the next guy can have the problem. You know what? I'm going to enforce the laws. And if the laws want to be changed, the legislature's got the right to do that, so does the Congress. But I am not going to be a dictator or an emperor. And just because someone comes to me with a story, then I'm going to change the law by myself. You should be concerned about that because the law that I change today in a way that you like it, maybe the law I change tomorrow in a way you don't. And then all of a sudden, we don't have a, a, a country of laws anymore. We have a country of men and women, dictators. We fought hard in the 1770s to get away from a royal dictatorship. You don't want a royal dictatorship now. President Barack is bad enough. King Barack would be a lot worse. Next question. Issue that really hasn't. You're welcome. <laughs> I want to bring up an issue.